green screen. Does it sound familiar at all? If not, then go no further than looking directly behind my shoulder here. This is a, the example of the green screen that I used last week in episode number 92. But this week I'm going to talk about how to use the green screen effect in your editing software. I'm going to demonstrate it in Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. But if you want more information about how to set up and light a green screen properly, visit videomaker.com and reference uh, vidcast number 36 or 68, as well as numerous articles pertaining to the subject. In Premiere Pro, move your clip into the sequence viewer. Place the green screen footage on the uppermost layer of video tracks and your background footage on the video tracks below. Next, go to Video Effects, select Keying, Color Key, then drag your filter onto your footage in the sequence viewer. Then go into Effect Controls, Video Effects, and Color Key. I open up Color Key and go into both filters and adjust to Color Tolerance, Edge Thin, and Edge Feather. To each layer, I play around with it until I get the desired effect I'm looking for. For this example, I have made two layers of the filter by dragging a second filter onto my footage. This will further help in customizing your effect to your specific desire. I adjust both filters to make sure that I have exactly what I'm looking for with my chroma key results. For Final Cut users, we're going to do the same effect in Final Cut Pro. First begin by dragging your clip into the sequence viewer on top of your background footage that you wish to key into your shot. Next, open up Effects, Video Filters, Key, Chroma Keyer, then again drag this filter onto your footage in the sequence viewer. Next, double click your clip bring it up in the viewer. Then find the chroma keyer tab at the top. And this will bring up your filter options. Adjust your color, saturation, and your luma to the desired effect. Also adjust the edge thickness, softening, and enhancement until you get the effect just how you want it. For more information about creating and using a green screen, visit videomaker.com and reference article number 13055, The Keys to Chroma Key. Additionally, reference article number 10914, Green Screen Lighting. For Video Maker Presents, I'm Brandon Pinard, and that's this week's Green Screen and Chroma Key Tips and Tricks. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Canon for the cameras, Mackie for our audio board, TDK for our blank media, Samsung for our mics and cables, Sony for the HD TV, and Focus Enhancements for the Firestore Direct Capture devices we use for our show.